So the purpose of this video is to help, um, for a lack of a better term, talk you off the ledge of, of, of going forward and using um, your drug of choice. And in this case, what we're talking about is pornography. Um, it's a unique video uh, for the millions of videos out there that are are portraying pornography. There's there's probably one uh, video doing this to help talk you through the process if this is something you you really um, want to do for yourself. And you wouldn't have clicked on this video unless you were looking for a different solution or or for a different way of dealing with the cravings that you are most likely feeling at this time. I've been doing uh, clinical work, counseling work for many years, spent thousands of hours with clients who have struggled with addiction issues. And those who struggle with pornography, uh, specifically worked with for the past six years, and the result of an acting out behavior is always the same. I've heard the same stories over and over and over again of what it makes a person feel like afterwards and how they, how they deal with it. So let's kind of talk about where you might be right now. You're having a craving. You've already committed in the past that you want to stop this behavior. And you're, you're being driven to go click on some more websites that you know it, in the long run aren't really going to be helpful to you because you've been through this process again and again or you wouldn't be here right now. Now the first thing to understand and um, is that the fact that you have a craving and you have a desire to go and, and find relief, whatever it is you're dealing with, or just pleasure for pleasure's sake is normal. Okay, so to acknowledge that is critical. You don't need to feel or shouldn't feel unnatural or, or unworthy or bad because you have the, the desire to look. It's inborn. That's why pornography, as one of the clients I've worked with for a number of years called it, is the perfect poison because it hits at the core of who we are as human beings. We're interested in sexuality because we're supposed to be, but it is a very, very powerful drug because of the way it affects the neurotransmitters in our brain. They're one of the best ways to explain a very complex issue, and I know that if you um, look through the Intergold website at all before you understand the concept of what I call the two-part brain. As a little model here, I'll just show you briefly. Um, two-part brain, limbic system. Um, is in the, in the black here. This is what's called our primitive brain, instinctive brain. It basically functions on the premise uh, of survival, and it does that by avoiding pain and seeking pleasure. Um, it's just instinctive. This is where our sexual pleasure centers are, and it's largely unconscious. The best way to, to uh, explain how the two-part brain works uh, is through a metaphor of an iceberg. Um, 85 to 90 percent of an iceberg is underneath the water. That's how the limbic regions of the brain works. It's unconscious. That's why from the straight willpower you can't demand that those thoughts or feelings go away because they don't go away. You've experienced that already in your life. After uh, a bad acting out episode you've made the commitment right that you're never going to do that again. Well and then what happens? It comes back unwanted, it still comes back. Now the other part of the brain that we're talking about here is the prefrontal cortex and now we know that this is the part of the brain that's the rational, logical, cognitive part of our, our brain. That, that's the braking system to deal, to learn how to manage with the limbic regions of the brain. So it's the, it's the relationship that these two have that determines how we function in the world. And what, what our purpose is here in this video and through all the other material that you can find on the Intergold website is to strengthen the prefrontal cortex and to educate it on how to deal with this part. Not that you can crush, kill, destroy this part like most people want to do at, with when, when they're struggling with an ad addictive tendency or behavior. They go, I want this thing out of my life forever. Well, 
It does not work that way, and that's okay. It's okay because it's just the way it is. That's why we got to acknowledge and accept the reality that that's just the way that our two-part brain works. This part here, it's critical to understand it does not have morals. That's why you've made a commitment in the past not to go use. It doesn't care about that. That's why it's just seeking relief or pleasure. Um, we use an acronym in treatment, BLAST, being bored, lonely, angry, stressed, or tired, or a number of other different emotions. If you don't learn to manage those successfully, then this thing goes on a hunt for something that will take the pain away, and that's where the craving comes from. So what I'd like you to do right now is just kind of ask yourself the question, what's going on in your life? What happened to create the trigger to get you to the point where you feel this craving to act out? And if you really slowly rewind the tape and start asking yourself some questions, you can come to some awarenesses of, oh, this happened and I didn't really deal with it appropriately, or that happened. And that is strengthening the prefrontal part of the brain to learn how to manage that. Now, another thing that's found on the website that may be helpful to you is to, um, is what I call the 10, ten Commandment questions um, if you're feeling like acting out. And I want to ask you those questions right now to see um, and, 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 and answer them honestly of where are you right now in relationship to these questions. Question number one, will acting on this temptation bring me long-term satisfaction or instant gratification? Number two, what will be the end result if I act on this temptation? That's a question that can help you play the tape all the way through. What the limbic part of the brain does is that it kind of, it has a capacity to just almost turn the lights off on the rational, moral, logical part of the brain that, that, is, that, that can think things through. So this question forces you to answer that from the higher functioning brain. Um, you know, to, to play the tape all the way through. How will you feel tomorrow morning when you wake up if you act on this temptation? Will it solve your problems? Will it help you? Um, and that fits into question number three. If I choose to act on this temptation, will it make my life better or worse? You see, there, there really are things in life that are right or wrong. It seems like as a society and a world culture, we do everything we can to anesthetize our conscience where we don't feel that still small voice within us that we all have. And it's universal. As, as I've received emails from individuals across the world, the response is the same. The feelings are the same. It, it crosses all boundaries of nationality, of religion. Those who look at pornography are troubled at a deep core level. And I've, you know, I've just had so many responses from people around the world that it, it, um, Anyway, it just, it, I don't question that anymore at all.